Welcome to the question and answer show with Quibbles and Moss. My name is Quibbles, and this is Moss. Moss, did I ever tell you about the time I put chew so much chewing gum in my mouth that I couldn't talk? One time at school, I taped my mouth shut just to see what it would be like. And one time, my throat was so sore, and I lost my voice. Was that kind of like what happened to Zechariah in today's Bible story? What? Oh, I think I do know how Zechariah felt when he couldn't speak. Are you ready for the first question? Yeah, go ahead. Where was Zechariah when the angel Gabriel told him and his wife would have a baby? Uh, oh, well, that's simple. He was in Lake Avenue Worship Center. Uh, no, no. No. Uh, oh, I know. He was in Maple Street. No, 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 no. That doesn't sound right. Was it in the sanctuary of the Lord in God's temple? Correct. Yes, Zechariah was in the sanctuary of the Lord. Okay, next question. Why couldn't Zechariah speak until after John was born? Um, um. Want me to give you a hint? Mm-hmm. There was someone Zechariah didn't believe. Oh, yeah. Zechariah couldn't talk because he didn't believe God. Or specifically, Zechariah didn't believe God's angel who told him the news. Very good, Moss. Okay. Where did John live after he grew up? Oh, that one's simple. Joshua Tree. No? Uh... The Mojave Desert? Oh, oh, yes, I know. It was the wilderness in Israel. Okay, Moss, last question. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. It's a big one. Oh, the pressure. Why? What did Zachariah do after his son was born? Oh, well, let's see. Well, I think he wrapped him in a baby blanket. Well, no, no, after that. Um, he named the baby John? Well, yeah, and then what? Well, he named the baby John just like the angel had told him. And then? Oh, yes! Zachariah was able to speak! Oh, that must have been such a relief! Well, yeah, yeah, yeah! And then what did Zachariah do? Oh, yes! He told the people about what baby John was going to do. When John would grow up, John would go before the Lord and get people ready for God. That's right. This story is a great reminder to trust God. No matter what, we can believe God's word. I trust God to help me on my distance learning this week. John was born to prepare the way for Jesus. And Jesus is with you now. So kids, trust that God will help you be ready for whatever today brings.